My family, them, on a good evening. I hope say any side who saw on a fan on a set na the wall, I hope so na they do well. I hope say life they treat on a well. Any side again wanna happen for fan on a set if na morning term or afternoon term or next term or because I know for say some on a some of on a can sit down really really late four five in the morning and they wait for me to come on. I appreciate it always and I do not take this for granted. We are all doing it for the one country that we call Mama Salon. Well, today, like when I all don't see a get with me, no less a person than um, Honorable um, Dr. Kande Kole Yunkela, where now the leader of the NGC party in a parliament and also the leader of the NGC party. We all know for say, he been run for the the highest office of the land at the last election. Um, but then with running with the highest office of the land, they, they play them too. So he say, if I get me plan A and I get me plan B. Now we go get for see, don't talk about both the plan A and we'll get for talk about the plan B. But mostly waiting with Sidon Ayasu for talk today. We sit on Ayaso for talk today about something where he care go na parliament, where he ask parliament say. But listen, we all, we been don't tell them people they also say, we want for make them give a chance, for make we watch over them and do things for them. We all been don't talk something, we all been don't talk say, when we can have power, we go make sure say the one them pan we we not see them inside this country we don't go na other country for whatever reason it may be then self national union then self need for able exercise the one right where every Sierra Union gets, that is the voting right. So exercise their rights. Choose who that they want for vote for. Choose who that be part of the, the, the process, be part of the democratic process. And one thing we also know is that this no left only na them party then they they and the ruling party okay. within the power where we know as SLPP, we also know say that ruling party they self self being said and thing and they but it don't three year it don't three year and four year they go so kele kele and before we mara na other election get for come mm -hmm. the other thing where it they look at it they look at say the two and them now, no, for say, woman, them we book on that country today. It's a matter of fact, I think say we can to in terms of population size. I think say the woman them pass the man them inside salon. He say, why make we not go open the democratic space for make sure say at least at minimal the 30 percent quota is guaranteed. Now, no, for say that 30 percent quota business, then a thing way. For as far as I remember, I think say for the past 15 years, they don't sit down on this 30% quota business. Remember the 50-50, that was one of their strong campaigning, you know. As a matter of fact, that 30% quota, they knew it sit I also draw me for doing an internship with the 50-50 group when I was doing my master's. You know, go salon, do a whole whatever internship with them, explore that building, you know, look at what they can do with the three gender act, look at the sensitization campaign, look at what they want for do with the 30% quota, how they campaign aggressively, lobbied aggressively. We go get into that. Day. The other thing back where they talk about now, inside the salon electoral laws, I believe they say, you need for resign one year if you want for one for political office what in they say is that 12 months boku. why make the person or the people that were interested no go resign six months before election and then they can put the candidacy for office but i know for say what can they talk then kind talk here so right now all man don't hang say matilda they talk show we make we know for say they are so false Okay, I they show now. So now, no for say, they are so. Dr. Yunkela, tell family they are do. 
Rumble on a cushion or a gladi for Jen on a tide, although in 11 o'clock now, I mean, the driver bell, Matilda said, I do one hour, and I say, No, you do with me the whole night. So, on a cushion, yes. <laughs> indeed, he tried for bell, me say one hour, I say, No, 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 no. The, I know me show, I know the length of time we can take for going sightseeing then, and I go be wrong, do wrong by my audience, and we all, if I not allow enough for call. Or ask una questions then directly to Dr. Yunkela and cut the show some kind way. So I tell her, say, no, sir, two hours, let's go, let's do it. So I appreciate it, you know, because um, I like when people are game. So even before we sit down inside the talk proper, Dr. Yunkela, as we know, we celebrate the 60 years independence, we then inside the 60th year. And everybody, we don't grace this platform. During the 60 year celebration, I get a certain set of questions where they ask them first, first set of questions. And my first set of questions to you is What are your fondest memories growing up in Sierra Leone? The Sierra Leone that you grew up in, is it the Sierra Leone that you are experiencing today? And if not, what would you? want to see what Sierra Leone do you aspire to see? Well, thank you very much. Indeed, we they celebrate 60 years, six decades of we independence where we don't begin get self, we'll get self rule, where we they take care of we self. May for this moment and plenty, but of course some of the best na detail in our body home na Sikesi from age 11 to 18. Another one, of course, we all know, say, we're well, undergraduates. Now you really they enjoy. Because that's ending, now you're not big, boss is small. But they still, they forgive you when you mess up. They are still not teenager, no men. So we, my college days been very good in Jala. We get a good educational system. We've been the land, you know, when we become politically conscious, but we'll be still damn good in a college. We suffer there also, and some of them, they shape my life. If you see me, the effects, but energy issues today around the world. I've been to college in Ajalawe, sometimes Boku turn the light and what another. day. So you can imagine now, would I, would I been for no say 30 years later globally, I've been for be a global leader on energy issues or a top leader on energy policy. So my fun moments and other, and of course, if then they also would go in a village, you know, go in a village, they run around at the bush, go find firewood with people there. A lot of, of one memories. I don't mean sweet. You say if not the same experience now, no far cry. We we we've been this school, uh CKC, for example, the father didn't take care of will. I mean, I've been, I mean we'll be always done like an English prep school. You know, they play tennis, then they teach you. We, we father they even golf for try to get we interested in golf. You can imagine that. So we've not been prepared, ah, but we've not been get blazer. By the time we reach in our blazer, not been there. But still, not been good school. Jala, we did it, one of the best. Eh? We like, we get air conditioning. Um, we get agriculture farm way. We they eat sausage on Sundays. We eat egg. And then sausage and egg, now we didn't make it, now we farm now, Jala. And Jala was just fantastic. Good science, education, good analytics. So by the time some of we reach America, American man, they say, so where did you do your undergrad? Did they shock with the lands in Africa? We go in the Likana class. So we've been get top professors, motivated. So not to the same salon today. Salon where the Pekin and one fed for spy. Salon where parents, they help in Pekin for spy. They know they push academic excellence. Salon where corruption, they every left, right, and center. Salon where hospital, not they work. I mean, and then they will and say Hill Station Hospital. You know, you know, it's in a top class. You mentioned in the book, Connors, they work well. We get the people there like Dr. Roxy Harris. May I did in a hospital one month. Now they are take common entrance. But we've been getting surgeon specialists there. Dr. Odo Williams, Akabi Davis, Roxy Harris. I've been, I've been know they all your name because they call it and they, uh, what they see there with the white, white. Me say one day, we've been getting Mitron there. Mm -hmm. Like me, Auntie Ashmia, Daifan then. Uh, uh, then Fraser then. Then Mami then. You know, then they wear that, that, that white now they head with the crown at the back. You they call it and they went and they can you can say, ah, look at that. And they're all so majestic, uh, Mrs. Yila. So those were great days where institutions, they walk. Salon where you get justices, then like uh, Johnny Smite, then kind and they, we save some of we young people then from the gallows, they're in politics, because they'll be able to stand up to the system and give judgment. 
based on justice and human rights. Uh, so plenty of in them in the work in those early days. So I feel and say, we own generation, not do the same for the current generation. So a lot we of fun memories in that. Yeah, go ahead. We own generation, not do the same for the current generation. I want to ask you a little bit what you mean by that. Exactly what you mean by that. You own generation, or my young generation, not do the same, not afford the same privilege, not afford the same space, not afford the same amenities to we own generation. What do you mean by that? Well, me, I feel say there was a rapid erosion of values. You know, they tell away with the you papa, you mama, then go, you know, they can't host with bad results. And the same way we did not to Papa Mama no more the menu, the teacher self na like family. You know, they take care of you, like say you na family. There were values, people like their job, then 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 believe in their oath of office. Hard work be matter, not to the quick gentry. Uh, so the erosion of values now the first thing we begin loss. And of course, we see some of that deeper now in the late 70s. With the slogan and begin come on, say who side and take out a day for it. Ah, uh, then say so and so. You say they be cynical. Of course, then they begin on my own term. I say, hey, what thing people mean? Hey, you they talk book too much. People then say for good fair money. So by the time now we graduate now, the kind the workforce now then kind philosophy then they be in the rain. Say it hey, hey, okay for thief. Gonna do you day. It hey, okay for let you look man way land book you begin laugh. Uh, so over time, then values, then they erode. And I feel say we generation contribute, contribute to that. We will not push for academic excellence as we own parents and others than we want. And then turning in uh, some communities, women, you know, because some of women are applying, we grow plus free town. But teacher being get respect. Teacher being get respect. We being get teacher the way they take people and their host. They're not be yourself. Me being get teacher, then and they just so like me. See this. This is Bobo Smart, then they give you extra book for it. They're not fumble to you, but they just want that excellence. Say, so, na me, na me products, they can come also. That kind of carrying uh, um, value system, no, the, 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 the value system, we believe in hard work. Say, so, you see that man, a sober businessman, or look the kind of business we get. Now, no. Now, na quick gentry. The man wait if more, we don't make laddie die, they show off with the money, which thing we call in the economics conspicuous consumption. Then in the battle, they say this now, so a man, they don't care how he don't chap. Once he chap, the chap, they look big. So a lot of values erode, erode over time with we own generation, then the politics come inside now, we instead become even more violent. And of course, state capture continued, you know, you get into power, you get gentry, and then say you sober. Um, so we, we, we generation, we, we let on a down small compared to the immediate post independence generation. We've been really one mix alone. We've been the work. I mean, not to foresee small, small corruption, not been there, we've been there, but not to the kind party show now, where we they see. Um, so some of them values, then they not, if they will not reinforce well. And then the politics really can become very divisive. And one of the most disappointing parts is we will learn book more, more tribalistic than the, 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 the illiterate people because we need for play the divisive game and the regionalism, tribalism, where you don't get ideas for sale. And then you find out, say, 70% of the population illiterate. So you they, some people just don't take and say, well, if they're illiterate, so... That we fent in the way they excite them. So quick fixes, as Mr. President, they call them tokenism. Uh, and in the last speech, he talked about token projects. And um, so we generation begin play them game then they on the on the ordinary people, the divisive games, the immediate gratification with cash for votes by vote raw. So the politics now can join the economics. So the economics begin, the corruption begin feed the politics. The politics need the corruption for buy the votes. Now you get this vicious cycle of, of a, 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 um, political economy where person get for, for let able buy the votes for keeping their power. 
the more it's so basically more what you're saying we've um we found ourselves with all of these things going on with all of um the erosion of value you know um in society you know um, um you know uh, paying attention to your oath of office um you know being ethical being professional you know do it, knowing right from wrong and making sure that when you take an oath of office you stand by the code of ethics of waiting you don't take so all of that erosion of them values and morals then they basically you're saying don't bring with to the spaghetti bowl situation yeah all see now intertwine um even worse than that now, now we turn crab, they will pull each other down. As you praise somebody in this country, then they begin to tell you all the bad way they want to. People you know they celebrate success now. They know why they, you, as they praise you, you don't, you don't get trouble. As you're successful, you don't get trouble. Um, people even want, for, for some way, professionally, you hide your professionalism. Uh, you for play like everybody else, you know, that you for be man around. Then you know you sober. Otherwise, you look odd. You look, you look a problem. Uh, you know, for question too much. If we just set more, say, let so you the system say, play. You think the system. If you're working within integrity, your morals are questioned. Your loyalty is questioned. Your your sanity is also questioned. This is your sober. sanity is questioned. Yeah, you know, look sober. You know, look understand the system. All it's not a. So if you say still in our man country, they talk too much, why right? they don't take it for ask question. That, that's how society forces you to adapt. And if you know, if you not get that fortitude and sober mind, you, then they make you change because you want conform, you want to like everybody, you want the acceptable. And uh -huh. it's not easy. Not easy. Hmm. Speaking of it's not easy, the equitable governance bill also known as the omnibus bill what in push you what push you to say this is a bill that we need to work around this is something that is needed at this present time whether you you silence me whether you push me whether you criticize i will make the loudest possible noise so long as i have breath but this is something that is an absolute must. Well, look at this way. Eh? For that, Richie, I take three years, not to so. I don't do in a parliament now, mm -hmm. three years. But if you look at me chronology, the first bill where I focus on, particularly, in the so called two SIM bill. Yeah. Because I see how, how people use to SIM for go after me and for go after others. So I've been determined, say, when me go in, because me know what in diaspora they send. Me don't travel around the world. I don't see what in diaspora they do. Same in the Philippines, 10% of them budget na, 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 na diasporans they provide. 10%. I know the data from China, 30 billion they go in from diaspora. Pakistan, the big countries are China, Pakistan, India, Nigeria. They are amongst the top 10 where they get billions, not a million, no, billions of dollars where they come in. Bangladesh, I don't travel with them people then from the Gulf. We then they go home, special plane and day for just take them so then and they every month for let them go three days back in Bangladesh, then they come back. I don't do in them flights then they. So now me here they clear to me, I know data within diasporans then they do for the nations, within they evolve, where they grow. So when me come at on pariah now, people go after me. As I go inside, I say, no, that Lord will change that. So it's not going to affect other parts in there. Me not be mind because me come for doing. See, I know see, if you run for president, you got to do it. So if you look me chronology, already by July, August, that's where we in you know, already uh, by May. By July, August, I already don't get a bill ready. When me and Honorable Chairman of Maju sign, when we don't care, go, then don't ready for print and waste stuff. So now so I start narrowly. I say, let me begin to fix some things that are not difficult to fix. But when he again motivates me, I did not see the president's self campaign on that. So I talked to one or two of the people there. And some of the encouragement is, okay, doctor, go ahead quickly. Of course, other things then come inside and they don't move. And people find way for stopping. Uh -huh. So over time now, as I talk to people, then, I begin to say, but wait a minute, there are other low-hanging fruits. 
are also been the fight of gender issues. In fact, 2013, uh, Akanaya with a big delegation with a lot of women as well, including Mrs. Sherry Blair. I bring in 2013 for International Women's Day. And even at that time, we begin to push for, for female quota, 30%, because again of my exposure. Mm. I don't go on a continent like Denmark, Rwanda, then side and day. I don't see what women are capable for doing. So I say, but this is another low-hanging fruit. And like we talk no more 50-50, when uh, we big sister Nimata begin, then they are the kind of holiday. Would they go Wilkinson Road na uh, uh, bamboo huts? Yeah. Uh, we, where we where we other sister been get late so they, about they, Thomas, yes. They, uh, but, uh, exactly. So they dance day, they say can they will all get for joint fiction. Now I say the sister the matter would they be in. So I knew these things that women don't defect. So I say, all right. Sometimes instead of we send them one one, because I begin test now in a parliament and they see resistance to every idea. But then I realize the parliament is powerful. So young people they get what I talk to, then say, Doctor, can you imagine I get for resign? 12 months, me a teacher, almost then they pay me 500,000, 700,000. If me resign 12 months, which are they live on? People get for sell properties for run for parliament. So I say now, fine, I've been mean, try one thing, then block them. I say, well, I don't get chance. Maybe God be one last fit for other things. So I add other things that I make it become an omnibus. Instead of a single bill where they focus on to sin, Omnibus means that you put other things and so it becomes a larger bill. So mm-hmm. I had other things. In fact, I've been one do more. Now it's on the lawyer that will help me. So other diaspora and say, mm, can they? No overload, I must focus. Right. And as I make with 10 years now together, I say, all right, laugh fit for all together. Now, why now? You ask the question, why now? Well, you don't see from me narrative. I try all things. I try all kind of things. Talk to people, cajole, go meet powerful all man. They say, yes, we agree for you. But I also know the resistance. And as you see, I get the letters, you know, with a non train way overseas, with the duty and make sure there's a paper trail. So mm-hmm. I write to people and say, do you help we? No, we do this. Would they agree? Will we come out the meeting and make sure say, I do a note, send them back to them and say, well, now this we agree or no, now this we get for do. July, now send this one an omnibus bill to. The Attorney General, July. Okay. Make a holiday. I want yeah. holiday small. I will make it come back just because I know that we come from a country where a lot of people don't read. Whether we day inside Salon or whether we day overseas, you know, we, we read headlines. We are a nation that focuses on headlines and not in depth, you know, um, you know, uh, discoveries, you know, on earthing really going in and digging. Very few people read. And because I know my audience and I know how they can react sometimes, let me just give them this. And then I'll bring you in. We'll take the the chronology of how you got to this point. I will read, you'll explain, and and, and we'll go go by that, okay? So I did read. Um, Just a few notes. Some people, they want to connect. They don't know how to connect. Um, so, um, I send you the link. If you check your phone, you will notice say I send you a link where if you share that link there with them directly, then go just click on that link there and they connect directly to the program. Bravo. I've yes. just seen it. I, I share the link. Um, right, right now we are on five okay. different platforms. I share the link okay. of two of them, uh, yeah. three of them, I believe, um, um, Instagram, Facebook and what, uh, and, 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 and YouTube. Bravo. I've just sent it out. Good. Okay. So, um, basically, the, the, the equitable governance bill, the, the premise of it, I don't, I don't already explain. When I've been one, diaspora voting two, um, 30% quota three, you know, a leniency or uh, an abbreviation to the, the length of time where somebody need for resign in work before he say, um, I want to declare me candidacy for something. Now, let us go into a little bit of the chronology of how this thing happened. We bring we to this point, Usai, Dr. Kande Yunkela, sit down with Wina Yasu already, you know, at this platform. 40,000 of us watching all over the world, 40,000 audience watching all over the world, plus why we sit down Ayasu right now. Um. He say, you know, he go on for say, we chose to work on a full, uh, on a few low hanging fruits. 
fully recognizing that other issues will be covered by the comprehensive and elaborate constitutional review process. The issues we chose do not need to wait for a referendum. Key point, the issues we chose, so waiting and the focus time, we don't need for wait till we go referendum and then waiting happen at referendum, then we go there. So we don't need for wait for constitutional review process and then and take and go referendum and say, yes, we agree with this, we agree with that day or we don't agree with that day. Now let's move on. You say um, um, for a referendum, um, on a new constitution, no, um, nor do they fall under entrenched clauses of the 1991 constitution. So what in that mean? It means for say, what in they propose right now? They no sit down inside the constitution so much so that you know we're able to do nothing, 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 nothing at all without you know change or fix the constitution. It gone for say. We are also strategic in choosing these issues that major political parties had promised. So, when I remember what the open waiting, I say, say, this not to because the NGC been promised some more. It see them as an opportunity because even the party where they have power, plus the one that we lost, then self self been talked about this, say, this not something where they want for work on, or something where they want for make sure, say, all Sierra Leone and it's been good. Say, had promise in their electoral manifesto or public pronouncement when they were canvassing for votes. I'm going to, and then he goes on to say, the estimated cost to set up about 30 centers in our embassies and consulates will be between 80 to 100,000 US dollars, less than the equivalent of the annual cost of sending a delegation to attend the annual UN um, General Assembly Conference. So cost opportunity, you look at the pros and cons. Look at the pros and cons. When you have the pros and the cons, sending a delegation to the UN embassy, um, United Nations General Assembly, is it more important than using this money, diverting this money and ensuring that 30 centers, the most strategic or the most populated areas who say you people then come on, able get the right for exercise their franchise, which is voting. When I think about that, they go on to say, in addition, we can pass legislation to grant women and young professionals greater political participation because the relevant sections are not entrenched clauses of the 1991 constitution. Within three months of arriving, we go go to the woman's side later. Let me talk about the diaspora votes. Now that side they will be right now. Okay. It go on for say, it say. Within three months of arriving in parliament in 20, 2018, a first bill was available. Honorable Chelno Majuba reviewed and edited it with the four political party leaders then listed as sponsors, namely Honorable Sidi Yaya Tunis, Honorable Chelno Ba, Honorable Emerson Lamina, and himself, Honorable Kandekon Layunkela. He goes on to say both Honorable Ba and himself signed the document. However, at the 11th minute, at the 11th hour, Honorable Tunis and Honorable Lamina declined for sign the document. These are the chronology. These are the facts. And when then they happen, what in it do we go? And he said that Attorney General and Minister of Justice then, Dr. Priscilla Schwartz, had given instruction that the document should not be printed even after I provided a letter sent to Dr. Priscilla Schwartz dated July 18th, um, um, 2018. So basically, when this letter don't write, when the two are not able, they don't sign them. The two decline, waiting for don't happen, then for gazette this thing here so. But then when it reached to the first time when it reached to the gazetting stage, 
Honorable Kande Young Kela find out, say, some Dabau, some Dilidale begin happen. When he investigates, Priscilla Schwartzel and say, the letter is not going to be published. Pick it up from there and I will continue. Well, uh, you don't do a good summary. As I say, we, we look for things the way we know, say, we have a fix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we pick them carefully. When you say something entrenched in that constitution, you get for go referendum for Pula. We can't find out because good lawyers, eh? I know they deal with feke feke lawyers. Eh? Good lawyers internally and saloon lawyers then eh? outside. And we pick and we go check. This is for change. If it's for change, yes, it's not too difficult. Uh, 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 two thirds majority. So which means you get for lobby. Now that make a be need all man. I don't write a bill where I say, nah, me one grain, they make a party. No, I put phone name and I will phone up leaders. And I lobby that, I get the letters. Because we then train we overseas, say we do something, keep a paper, trail. I say, well, we meet on this day, look me, uh, that this we agree on, they, they submit to you now, make you help me. So I get all the letters, I chose not for release them, but if people challenge me, I will release. So basically, then thing I know hard for me. But let's tell you also why. When are the lobby and they talk to some people, hey, can they well, why you they pick this to sim business or their own business? Just wait, Lord, change the constitution now. I say, but you know, say for change the constitution, you get for go referendum. Referendum mean election. We will country so poor that every election pass somebody pay for it. I say, so if you tell me, say, I wait for the constitutional review process, first of all, it they take a long time. Second of all, for lay you able to make the change, you get for go referendum and you don't get money. Pass you go big. You tell you won't tell me, say you go go big for money for referendum, you not big for money for election. I say this is a good delay. I know the game now. I don't deal in this country. I say law no delay. Law no end. The constitution is so complicated. People want to deal with land rights issues. They want to deal with other issues. I say by the time you pack all land together, the, the issue here yeah, they will just drown and forever they go they talk. I see long on and all play that game. This. So, what you we able to do last send and forward? If God can make the constitution, the new constitution ready now, in nobody game. But let's not wait for him. And indeed, three years don't pass. Government don't set up a committee for look at the constitution. Then get for come on with white paper. Where the white paper come on, because of that son don't tell me, hey, can they, you not be for rush because the white paper they come. I say, even where you count with white paper. You get for right bill back. Right. You get for right something at 10 bill, you get for right. And look what's in don't happen. Now we they try for do electoral reform. We need about 25 bills. I say if we wait, all things they can pack and typical Salomon is a time no day. Right. This one here we all don't promise. Love your fixer. And the woman then said don't fit 15 years. So now all them context then they make, we all look and say, this is not difficult to do. And we really go out, but different political parties get their own interests and then concerns. But the good news is within government, I will tell you, within government, there are a lot of people who want to support their issues. So what he may say is there are many ways to skin a cat. While we wait for now, come me don't begin three years ago and I don't try to rally everybody. Let the public begin debate, all complimentary. Once they begin debate, you say self now, if you do another bill, you, did, you, don't, you don't gauge the mood of the people. You go. So basically, the, you're trying to provide them an opportunity of gauging or knowing the pulse of the people alongside doing what they are doing. That is one by allowing a debate. Now that makes you for Gazetta. Mm -hmm. Now that makes you for Gazetta because you're the Gazette for letting debate. But if you know Gazetta, I know they will put it on the table. The law very clear. Now the standing order is standing order 47. Any bill. Before you care and go give them, let them, we call and lay them on the table, it has to be gazetted. Then one we'll make sure, say, public don't read and they even get not less than nine days. Then after that, you get for gazette and a second time. Because what you do, then one we'll let the whole citizens see this thing where you want to go to parliament. And you can't talk but and they immediately, we can call and give notice of motion or notice of a bill until then don't gazette. So if you want block person, we're not a government person. All you get for do tell the government printer, say no printer. So it's fashion. So basically, that's what we sell a Schwartz did. Well, I'm not going to say nine do but where I go, then say the attorney general in office say, 
for stop. Now I say, but we don't go through this thing one week, we don't format, we don't give me receipts, everything they no doctor will get for follow instruction. Now I say, but look the letter where I write them and tell them for review and everything. I say, you know, even get right for stop. You can't stop me, say, I know for propose a bill. You can't stop the printer. But this is where democracy is delicate. Because once they're not printer, you can't force them. Not to you, they pay them salary. Mm-hmm. Then just look, you, you know that, you know, they pay me. You can't fire me. Now government, they pay me. So if, God, if somebody don't talk, say, not for printer, I know they don't. This thing, you even, even worse. The man said, doctor, I know they even take this one and your hand. Because 2018, I won't get trouble. This one, where you bring so. If you're not going to age in office to God, I know they print that. I know they take and save now you are. You know? So, again, for protecting job, man, no force, that man, not that. Just come on, they go back to the attorney general. I say, well, I've been not right to you. Tell me, people, uh, they have are... option on that. They, I, 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 is this the democracy we preach of? Is this the democracy we aspire to? We all live in foreign land. We enjoy the benefits of living in foreign land. We enjoy the benefits, you know, the sweets where they come and live in, you know, practicing democracy, exercising our freedom to speak, exercising our freedoms to write our counsel or demand for certain things, them rights we may us them propose and demand for certain changes them and they ought for listen to we because we elected them into office to do our work not for them to do their bidding but for them to do our bidding now it, I always they say let us be make, make, make we be realistic to we self and make we stop the hypocrisy I don't care if you're not SLPP I don't care if you're not APC I don't care which political party you belong to this is about Sierra Leone this is about the integrity of the people of Sierra Leone. This is about the integrity of who that they will put in our office. I elected you to do the right thing. I didn't elect you to suppress me. Now, here is a person who was, you know, uh, um, are you call him, call him, voted into office as a parliamentarian. You voted him to be at the helm of policy making at the helm of decision making to make decisions that are right for you that are beneficial to you but when the laws and those who sit at the helm or you know or at the echelon of the law decide you know to make themselves demigods these are the outcome when a civil servant instead of doing the right thing knowing the right thing go look you know, an elected official and say, Papa, do you are no one for lost work? Because the last them, where just no more, the work where the citizens them, then taxpayer money them, they pay me for do, where I try for do one, I nearly lost my job. Is this the democracy we talk about? Is this the democracy you are falsely going around the world preaching that you are enabling democracy? Is this the democracy you people are really supporting? Let us be honest to ourselves. Is this democracy? Call it what you want to call it, but please, for one second, do not call it democracy. Because by calling it democracy, guess what? Team? When I spit on the word and the definition of the word itself. And I go on. In February 2019, people then go say, ah, well, sometimes Dr. Yumkela, don't, you know, he don't talk to just the parliamentarian in waiting and call this dad, and sometimes he not talk to the right people them what he's supposed to talk to, he not talk to incumbent leaders them, he not cross the aisle to incumbent leaders them, and make sure say and listen to this. The Agbagba of the Agbagbas know of this. Because if the Agbagba of the Agbagbas know of this, then something would have been done. May I caution you to say, it goes on to say, and I repeat, in February 2019, I had the opportunity to accompany the president to Dakar for the inauguration of President Makisal. His Excellency the President, His Excellency the President, Ali Kaba and I, so it now they talk all about the people away being there at that meeting, they wait and discuss. Okay. It says Ali Kaba 
and I, you know, discuss the bill. My letter of February 25th, 2020 to the Chief Minister David Francis summarized the discussion with the President. So not only did they have a discussion, a follow-up, like what you can do now, so when you get discussion with somebody, you get phone call with somebody, the next thing you want to do is that you go into an email, you summarize which one and I don't discuss into an email so that you not only get a verbal conversation, but you get written evidence of what you know, I don't discuss. He sent down there to the then Chief Minister David Francis. Silence. He go on for say Dr. Dennis Bright, Dr. Julius Spencer, Honorable Abdul Titus Kamara, and I met with the Chief Minister in 2020. Nothing not happen. A gun for say I sent the brother omnibus bill to the new attorney general, the minister of uh, justice, attorney Brewer, in July uh, on July 18th, 2020. It included the amendment of section 75A, a repeal of section 761A of the 1991 constitution. It also included a 30% women's affirmative action um, provision. In the last paragraph of the letter, I suggested that the bill could be made a government bill. However, if the government was not interested, I implore the IG to have the bill gazetted for public review so that I could put the bill before parliament on the 24th of July, 2020, before it's adjourned for recess that same week. I give it to you. Look, I'll learn the way you describe. So just show you the time that one spent time because you need two third majority or pass then changes here to the constitution. So you get for be patient. I mean, people then they will blast me then ten men they from the diaspora and other and say, hey, KK, why they talk about this thing? No, they do nothing. But you can see, say, I not say anything public. Why? Because I need for cajole, I need for persuade, and I need for be patient. I go give the president credit, say he wants this. I go give the chief minister credit, say he wants this. I do about four meetings and status. And each time, yes, with David Francis, we develop strategy. He was fully behind this. He wanted it. President wants it. They prefer. You get to understand, say, the way we government, the way you also get the bureaucracy. Then. then one way for really do the action. Yeah? Then they. Now, that one didn't delicate like we parliament. We now we need for tabula. We now we need for put on the agenda. So I go give them credit, say, yes, they gave time. They listened. They received the documents. We developed common strategy waiting for do, how for get other parliamentarians on board. But we we'll also get timelines because we know say time was important. For example, it was very clear already we'll begin here about NCRA verification of voters. One strategy was early last year, 2020, where we meet. I said, look, let that verification not begin. They don't include diaspora. That verification, money day for already. This is the perfect opportunity for let we get them computer and they inside the embassies. So the diaspora will go verify. Then voter card. Then one way not be done register. It can register now. I see this is the perfect opportunity. This now the numbers come up. So how much it will cost you? How many will go establish? So we went through that. And so one was very hopeful that it's just a matter of giving instructions now. That yes, where that process they begin last year, by now we were able to now say, hey, X number of diasporans don't register, then don't verify. And let me tell you, the technology is so simple. Then same thing and the way they use for that registration and verification. Now one thing no more, more you get for ad for voting. And you know, dear, Computer today to own a yanda and at three hundred dollar two hundred and fifty. If you want to make a okay for this kind of basic work, you want to add more memory, okay, add another hundred dollars. So three fifty. I even tell people then I say, look to God, this thing here. If we really want to, we can drop that cost to about fifty thousand. Why? So diaspora people then will say, if embassy in Washington, but me one green says they buy the computer, go put on the because some of us do that. We send computers for people. I say, so me no say, if we do this right, because every political party wants it, then people, they say, say they go volunteer 
donate computers in Washington, in New York, in Montreal, wherever. So then station in the end the fingerprint machine. They want to know the camera. Then they the cheap now. You they buy yourself online. I say so. This is so cost effective, but it is time because I no salon. I you see. Remember, say um, council or election uh, next year March. If we keep the timetable, I no salon. And pass you say, hey, I will be for don do and one at the time don do. I say no. We can't play that game. It is so easy to do this, and we take it as part of the voter registration process that NCRA is doing. Because remember, NEC they can to NCRA for take data. From that baseline, then, then do other voter registration. But, they, they, but they, they mine data from the national registration system. So I wanted to make sure that it was part of that because the act already allows it, Section 18 of the Voters Act, that you can register them in their countries of residence. What has been missing? The equipment, and the administrative process, and it is easy to do. So to give a positive spin to this, there is interest in government. The president also has interest in this. We just so if there is interest in government, and if the president yes. also has interest in it, why has it not come to effect? When the, gov when the president because, because, had because, interest, because, because when the, just, just give me a second. <laughs> when the president had interest, in rewarding the, 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 the football team and in giving them a plot of land, it was done within a week. Within a week, we saw the evidence. The, 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 within, within three weeks, the money, the checks, and whatever promise was given to the football players, within a week of the win of that game, the plotted lands and everything was handed to the players. When there is a will, there is a way. So if the president is so interested in doing this, I'm sorry to say it can be done and it should have been done because the president has demonstrated that when he is clearly interested in something and I can give other evidences of such, it is done. So for me, the, the issue of bureaucracy and the people who should implement and the people who shouldn't implement, it's because I understand how bureaucracy work. I understand how governments work. However, however, I also know, I also know that when the apex has decided this is what I want and this is how it should be done, and I am going to do it, it's been done. Well, we still have 19 months, maybe 20 months. And I believe and I maintain and agreeing with you in a sense that we can do this before end of year. And mobilization now, and that's why I also felt it was time because people demanded it from me. They say, Doc, we need to see this bill now. You've talked about it last year in several interviews about an omnibus bill. That's how some of us came to know the term omnibus. So now we begin to talk about an then radio show. They say, we're well, 10 original for low city steam boat. All take talk about them, but you know, they pull them because since I've been there in any delicate negotiation, but now I concern. Say time they be too. White paper get for camp, but I know, I don't know the dates. So other people that well, have been done meet, we promise me, say, okay, we'll go call you back. Seven months don't pass, they not call me. I say, mm, before you the marriage is not rainy season done, we come back now parliament September, then say where well, the schedule don't fall. So I felt it was time now that there's public debate debate. All of you, all of you who have interest, now you mobilize. Because why? I have shown you how to do it. I have shown you where the amendments can be made. And we know it is doable, and I've told you that it is cheap to do. Now you demand it. Remember, now on your country, then we a day, on a day mobilize. And it is not a negative mobilization. Now that make us say, on a can help Mr. President now. Because all of you, you can use moral suasion, positive messages to say, Mr. President, we deal with you on this one. Do you just give the instruction? And you know, we could be surprised. Uh, they get signaled and say, Doc, things get for happen. And it go happen. No worry, no more. I say, well, no problem. At least I don't happen, and I don't set the stage. We all team come out this CRC review. So until when I will get fifty till the answer or one hundred, but we know three day way easy for do now, now, now. And if we now want to, indeed, 
give the signal to the leader of government business in the parliament. If they go lay them, on and forget about me. It, you know, just take this changer if you want. But you cannot say it's not doable. If you don't like this, editor, modifier, put her in another language or send another bill. And now on a young country, now that's the bill, not so. Some people can sponsor a bill. Another group sponsor another one. Then sit down, they negotiate. Now then culture, then they meet the hope I will introduce the parliament. On a country, then they put names on bills. Yeah. Andrew and James bill on so and so. Why? They cross the aisle. Strictly speaking, 2018, and if we don't call this the Maju Yumkela bill. But by the time we don't, I didn't forbid Maju Yumkela Tunis bill. Because why? Uh -huh. We therefore go negotiate. Now then culture, then they we want. Governance means negotiations. Because when I see something from different perspectives, but in the interest of the people, when I modify. So if you look me draft, if you know like I'm, I tell people that, I say, look, we don't exempt already the president. You can't be dual citizen, you be president. You can't be speaker. You can't be VP. I see there are some positions, security. I see if you know like they are listening, you want to add more. Adam, I don't get problem. Add mm -hmm. more if you want. But let me negotiate. It, like that time for resign. Now compromise, I do I put six months. So man said, say, no, 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 for be three. Now I say, no. So Monday, if you did three months, he go use in position for bully other people. I say, me, if you say midpoint, now six. Well, not a new team. Justice Kawa and Seth been don't recommend that Monday. So what I have basically done with the help of some other people, people then they be in this way. When somebody mm -hmm. challenged me yesterday on language, now I say, hey, the lawyer, the way I get, will help me do this. Then they are some of the best. Beyond that, the people that will help me put the concept together, these are professors, mm -hmm. local and international. We say, let me help you now on the policy side for do a concept we can become a policy document. I say, mm -hmm. so I'm so, so sure of the language of that building that I know you need another draftsman. But why you they send them to the AG? You they send them to the AG because they get standard format. Mm -hmm. They said, can check language because they know the institutional memory. Yeah. Then they you they send them to printers because now they no more get the power in this country for gazettes. Other posts, you know, because somebody say, Doctor, why you not be no pay them printing company? I say, mm -mm. Government gazettes, now government gazettes, now one side and the gazette, now they. And then the professionals, like the first one were sent, and they stay with you, then tell it, set them, everything. Then they send you, you check, you come back, they make corrections, then they send serial number for you. Because yeah. now they stop. These are professionals to do government documents. But what do you do? You send your raw draft, they leave and ask you, you bring out a stick if you want, or then type it. Because that's their job. So I will say with Unayon involvement now, and a very important level, all mobilize women, uh, diasporans, and others in a positive way for support, Mr. President, say that commitment where you make now, you manifest it. And that commitment where you make now UK last year, March, where you say, yes, you didn't move on this. Would they be in you, sir? If you want, yes, we can work ourselves. But we'll call we MP then, because that's where the rubber hits the fan. It will be in Parliament. Mm -hmm. We will help you follow. We speaking, call of, the MP speaking, of, speaking of it will be in Parliament, what's, what's the bottleneck? What is the bottleneck? Because here I see you right. On the 10th of September 2020, I sent a letter to the Speaker of Parliament submitting the bill for gazetting. I followed up on 13th November 2020 with another letter after all efforts failed to get the bill gazetted. At the end of the second letter, I stated, after two years of going through the same runaround, I have to conclude that there is a deliberate and sy systematic attempt to prevent me from exercising my right as an MP to propose bills. For the fourth time, I am seeking your intervention to have my bill gazetted next week as provided for in the constitution and SO 47. If it is in the constitution, if it is in your parliamentary SOs, under what, under what, what right or privileges or, or, or exercises of right is the speaker of parliament preventing because that's what it seems like or appears or alleging to be preventing 
the gazetting of the bill. What's the bottleneck? Well, let's just put it that he did not help me. And as you see, I put it there in his letter to it. This is the fourth time I'm seeking your assistance. What I know he has power to do is that if a bill comes, he's the boss, he can decide to, to table it or not to table it. They do the same in the States. But what you cannot do, and for me, that's my issue. What you cannot do to MP is not allow their bills to be gazetted. Even if it's the most hopeless bill, let it be gazetted and the public say, you are dumb. But don't stop it. For me, that's a fundamental violation of my right. Or at least help me. If I have come to say all I need is instruction to the man to say, you have to gazette. Okay, there is no money in parliament. I said, fine, I will pay. I will pay. No, what you can do is, that's what one of the, uh, they sent me to one of the offices to say, well, you can talk to NGOs to help you raise money and mobilize. I said, I don't need to do that. I'll pay cash with a check because I believe in this. I don't have to ask people to help. If I don't have the money, I'll call my friends. They will pay. So don't worry, we will pay. So um, my point is, we have to encourage parliamentarians. And that's my wish. That with so my what you're saying is that with them coming back to you saying that, oh, money not day, now that make this, that, you tell them, say, okay, money not day. Me go use me your money, pay for this. Then they tell you, say, no, 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 go find donor, then come. Go find them donor, wait the donor, then come, and then come pay for this. Then you tell them, say, no, I don't need the donor for pay for this. This nothing when me self self go able to put hand in my pocket and pay for. Because I believe in this. I know, I know, I know, I don't need the donor for can pay for this. And, and even with that proposition, they still have not gazetted the bill. Yeah, look, 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 almost page this thing. Be. The, the, on this formatting, we may do now one page, not to so. Mm -hmm. By the time they put her in that small print and waiting, maximum, maximum, that three page, maximum. Mm -hmm. My sister then charge me tea, then charge me one dollar set. I will sign check for one thousand dollar pay for it. It's nothing. I don't need for go big anybody. Some of them, if I call on, I say not to sim bill to call on, they say doctor almost. If I do one thousand copies, so we said go get people go pay. But I was ready. I was ready. But that so it is not a money issue. It is simply an authorization issue, either from the AG's office or Parliament saying yes, he has a bill. It should be gazetted because it is my right. MPs, our first, if you look with Constitution, Chapter 6, where they tell about the Parliament, we first job, not to forgo build bridge or development. Chapter 6, the very first thing, we say we they do, now for make laws. You make laws with acts of Parliament, with bills. So you, and I mean, now that's not my job. Number one job, they're not right now to say, MP for go do road or development. It's not in here, anywhere in the Constitution. It is making laws representing your people and doing oversight of government. The number one, the very first two, three uh, 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 subsections of, of section 73, now mm -hmm. making law, the supreme mm -hmm. law of everybody. So that has to be facilitated. And what, what my example shows is that for as long as that pipeline is controlled, it is not easy for opposition elements to propose bills. And I believe, because now that I don't see the advanced countries. Say you they see an opposition man and another person sit down because then get a common interest in an issue or then constituents they want to then write a joint bill. This is why in the United States, so other side, then you they see the name after me for even show that by partisan nature. Because now that culture we want a salon. Say the, the 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 opposition and the government they work together. This was such a wonderful opportunity to say we all don't say we want this, we all do one. But I mean also here we back talk them, but go back talk them in the process. So but I remain focused and now I okay. Be so you say you be here, but go back talk them in the process and you remain focused. This is a fundamental for you as an MP. 
these um, rights are guaranteed to you. It not mean for say the bill go pass, but yeah. within guaranteed to you is that yeah. the bill must be gazetted. The bill yes. ought to be gazetted. Yeah. So if the bill not a gazette, where they don't bridge your own fundamental rights, where the people them vote you for, the thing where the people them vote you for do you, they do them. But then they are preventing you from doing that yeah. without any, with, again, without any constitutional rights, without any constitutional rights whatsoever. So here is what I say to the Speaker of Parliament. Don't be afraid of competition. We all know whose side you're on. We all know where you stand. But don't be afraid of a competition. And in this case, it's not a competition. In this case, it's a win-win for you because guess what? You open up the space. You allow this to go through. People talk about it. It comes to fruition. Guess what? Your auntie members, no need for travel in a salon, go salon, pass them, able to get the money, able to buy the plane tickets and go exercise in franchise in salon, wherever they are in the world. So long as there is an opportunity created now that space day, then can drive you like now four hour, five hour, then go exercise them flanches in the name of your political party. So you see, massing this, playing politics with it, tontonam, it's not going to serve anybody's advantage here. It's not going to benefit anyone. But don't, don't take, I want to make it clear that here. Yeah. Because in an interview recently, you make um, a statement and that statement there has been, has been like interpreted in different manner. I don't want to speak from the, for the horse because the horse is right here and the horse can speak for itself. You say, when, when they ask you, say, what is the issue between you and the Speaker of Parliament? It's not like say when I get issue. You say you not get an issue with the Speaker of Parliament, but you issue with them as historical, that history will show. And some people take that as you are using your personal issue that you may have with the Speaker of Parliament. You they use this bill or the non-publication of this bill as a vendetta for comeback and for expose or for denigrate the office of the Speaker of Parliament or the intention of the Speaker or non-intention of the Speaker of Parliament. What have you to say to that? I want to make you clear the air in the most succinct, crystal manner. What do you mean by that statement? The histo history, historical evidence or history will show. Well, um... In, in the interview now, AY, AYV, I mean, we spend, we spend almost one hour on the issue between me and the speaker. Yeah, and in that process, I elaborate a number of sides. It, it was not only historical, I said. I said, we get fundamental disagreements on some issues. Yeah, and those issues, we disagree. We agree to disagree in your office or in public, and, and it's okay. So my point is that me not get a um, problem with the speaker, a, a, a personal problem. I get uh, issue disagreement or with them over some issues. Yeah, and those are policy issues. That's normal. Um, I'm not a yes man for anybody. Um, I have my own views. And so, but that has nothing to do with this bill. If you go back to my chronology, it's three years of working three years of sending letters, three years of seeking help, collaborating, working with others, developing strategy. So all I ask, let it be gazetted. I mean, what did not get for do with any personal team? If me don't go, me na MP, yeah? I don't go say, do you, I'll get this bill. I won't let you help me after I don't talk, talk to you. Look, I don't draft and finish. I don't send them to you by letter, do you? You send me on the side, I go to the clerk, the clerk say, well, you know, they and talk to them, this staff, then we'll show you waiting for them. Talk to the staff, the staff, then again. I say, well, I don't go through that already two years ago, so I know all that one day. What you need now is instruction. 
for let them format and print and, and I will pay for all the copies with the Ghana Parliament. So I, I guess you and others have to help me understand well, why would that not be done? So this has nothing to do with personal vendetta. I started working on to see three months after I got to Parliament, public. And I've been talking about this omnibus bill for a year in radio interviews and so on. So this is nothing secret. I mean, if anything, now it is to give impetus. Now it is to energize and catalyze action. Because again, the benefit to government, as I say, let us assume they have their own. That's fine. Bring your own bill. Mine is also there. We negotiate. The women also are working on another bill, on their own affirmative action. In fact, with some of them, we were debating strategy. Their bill is like the Uganda one, to give two safe seats in every district, 16 district, 32 seats. Yeah, you do the math over 146, 22%. So now that will be the discuss then they say, so you see, me na mid-range, una they get 22%, me push for tona for 30%. I say, but you go hear some other say, say, come on, that's timid. 30% has been around, you push for 50%. I said, the advantage for you is they have to give you something, either the, the minimum or they give you my 30% or they give you the 50. But they cannot say it's, it cannot be done. The good news is if they're working on a bill, there's another bill. We negotiate. The parliamentarians will discuss which one they want or they merge language. And that's what we do when we go to the pre-legislative session in the legislative committee. We they sit on line by line, full stop by full stop, go through. So you go look them. Say, hey, but some good idea in our law, Adam. That is the essence. But it cannot be a, a situation where everything we for happy for come off from government. So government will get credits. So now government no more. That is not what the democracy, and not to that the people vote for. Not to that the people vote for, for in 2018. They vote for four political parties. They even vote, say, the parliament for be controlled by the opposition because they want accountability. That's what they voted for, not to other team. Now they vote. So in this situation, only governments can bring stuff. So yes, government will come out and say, we don't care with we own to see bill. Me no get problem with that. All me interested in, we solve the problem. And the day where government come with you, we're not print me on self. The day where government come with you, I will sit on back work with it. For let it happen. What I want is the result. I want to open up the political space. So this is one uh, uh, battle I'm happy to fight, but it is one collaboration I want to see. That in fact, if the government comes or the women bring another bill, that we work on it so that we get it. But the point now is this discussion now has, the crescendo has to go up. More people have to come in on all of these issues. So that, yes, either by end of the year or at least latest by end of this particular parliament, which is May next year, these things are in place. Okay. But my so, advice would be the earlier the better. Let 2021 not pass. Because when you pass then Lord and day, you need other things and now they happen. You need processes for let it implement. So the more you wait, uh, section 18 of the 2012 Electoral Act, it clear say they can register people in a diaspora. Why the not one? The law is there. The law is there, not to say law, not it. Then they know if you require legislation. Then they did require the computer. That's where we were doing the costing. Well, nobody pushed it so far since 2012. Nobody acted on it. Okay, so basically, for me, that's why said, this debate is important now. Okay. I want to be crystal clear again that when you say historical, when you say fundamental issue, what you meant was you disagree with the speaker on parliament on policy issues and not personal issues. So, um, okay, yes. so we did get a little yes, bit of yes. technical difficulty with um, Dr. Yumkela, but I should say things will be 
adjusted. Okay, yeah, so things are a bit adjusted now. So yeah, so disagreeing with the speaker on policy issues, that's what he means by we get fundamental differences. I have a disagreement, a fundamental disagreement with him, and it is historical. It is there to show they are policy issues are not personal issues. So whatever they may have between them personally is not lumping it to policy issues and state issues and using that in this moment. It don't make that be clear. But before I open the phone lines, I want to make we go into, we go come back on this issue and I want for me to state specifically which you want from the diaspora some of the things then where you require or oh, that is required, not you requiring, but that is required for make this thing as so go work for we all. I want for count to the 30%. Not to today, um, woman then don't begin to cry for the 30%, you know, quarter. You know, um uh, I, I remember the Banda conference, uh Dr. Banda conference, um, I think it was in 20. 20 uh, must have been 2018 or 2019 somewhere around that focusing on that with the 50 50 woman group then do the 50 50 woman group has always been about 50 50 50 50 50 and then the government come at some point that the government of uh, president Koma say 30 percent so this currently currently they work on the 30 percent put policy paper out right 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 um, I believe the year must have been 2016, if I'm not, if I'm not, if I forget, 2016, where I attended a conference, um, conference was here in Ottawa, and we we're talking about justice and policies and whatnot within government. And that um, conference was attended by the former Attorney General, um, you know, Joseph Fitzgerald, and also a Professor, um, Professor um, Aisha, um, uh, Ibrahim, um, Fofana Ibrahim, and uh, I myself, you know, was at that conference, obviously not representing anything Sierra Leone, but representing the Canadian government and things. And at that government, I've been curious and wonder why, if you don't go ahead a few years before that, you don't bring, you know, people in together for really support this bill, you don't talk to the president, the president was on board. Why did it not fail? Why did the legislation fail at that point? Because I remember the woman then being very angry, then being very aggrieved, and you know they felt like it was a slap on their face for everything that they've been promised, for everything they've worked. The attorney general fell for table the bill to the president at the time. I believe that was the conversation. He asked them, make them go change something, then go then change what he asked them for. But at the end of the day, again, this is where I say where there is a will. Where there is a will. And 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 not this the diaspora and we the diaspora and they will for be very careful about make people they know they use sweet talk and language, then they must remove. Because that is exactly what happened the last time. That document could have been signed and legislated. But here we are, about five or six years on, we're having the same conversation. If you be don't put all that effort today, together with others, what happened at that junction? Why did it fail? And why are we at this junction again? The, the fact is that we never put it in parliament. Yeah, a policy document, yes, it's a policy document signed and launched a policy document. We get agenda policy now. We call for some of them here. Yeah, that's fine. But it is not law. <laughs> law matter. Legal framework matter. So what's in me do now for put say we well, don't make law. What I have been for really like for do even now is uh, say no we like waiting uh, uh, Uganda do then write her inside the constitution yeah. So me no get the opportunity say constitution they change today, but at least I know say I will make amendments because the all them talk and policy and conference you have to come back and legislate. God make offend myself na legislation now. So what here I do? And I think say the women and for glad. Say a man this time, not only the woman and go get her get out. Now a man take with topic, what don't they fit for? He say, okay, well, I'll make law up and number. Let me make a bill. And he go good for letting them say, well, 
We don't like the way we make your own bill. So we didn't make all that one. That's fine. Because why? We must get all this thing inside our parliament today. But so they've done so in the so, past. So, 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 that, so that's the 2016, they did that. They did that. They wrote it. They took it to the Attorney General's office, Joseph, um, um, you know, Fitzgerald, who was the Attorney General, because I vividly recall, and what to make I vividly recall is because at that particular time, he came to Canada in Ottawa. There was a conference. And I've been there, part of that conference, they sit down right across from him when questions were being asked to him. And I also had the opportunity to ask him certain questions to clarify certain things. Why did he fail to, I don't know if I've been the gazetting, same issue here, but why did he fail? And if that was an issue, and if the then president's Koroma was for it, why did he not push? That's his attorney general. Because we are, we are at the same junction right now. Yeah. Again, I, I cannot say what went on at that time. I wasn't in the house. But what I know, whether a Salon Parliament, Canadian Parliament, American Parliament, any Parliament, you need champions of issues. There has to be a champion within the system that says, this is a cause I'm willing to fight. This is something I'm willing to take the next level. If it has not come from the AG and others, then I take it as a private member bill. If government not bring an article, then same document, repackage, but then you run into the same problem. You still have to send it to AG and to the printers <laughs> to get it gazetted. And if you don't gazette it, it cannot come to parliament. So again, you have a good point. We tried it before it didn't work. Now we are having the same debate. It could be there is a mindset that the, the culturally, you know, uh, uh, you, there, there is a publication where one have to read, where uh, um, they do right after the 2018 elections, barriers to entry for women in politics. Because, I mean, they assess what they have in 20, 2018, and also they interview me. You go see the Boko Valley, part of it is cultural as well. Now, mm -hmm. woman, then issue. Now, woman, then issue. But that's exactly why you want women in decision making position, because then they take the issue. Look at the numbers. Today, 18 we get, 18 women. There are seven from SLPP, seven from APC, Independent, and, um, and uh, one from C4C, then two Paramount Chiefs. We get 18, you know, out of 146. We need more. You know, before that, maybe 15 at the last parliament, 15 over 124. So you go see, see the percentage, they know they change much, 11, 12, 13%. So, and Again, research them there. I don't talk to some other women. In fact, some gender specialists, and they send information to me now. They say, Kande, thank you for doing this. We'll give more information for those who want to advocate for this even more. And I know, say, just this four days, bells are ringing in other places. Uh -huh. I, I'm privy to that now. I say, thank God. If there is anything these actions have achieved, is that now discussion is there. We just have to keep the momentum. Because there's another problem here. Things begin and then somewhere it just slides. So, right. um, yeah, exactly. Just slides. So somewhere need, it just slides. So I want to make yeah. you take a minute. Even at the, okay, the phone lines are open. The phone lines are open. Please, there's only going to be two minutes per call today. Only two minutes per call at the two minutes mark. We they cut you off. So make sure say before you dial that phone, before you dial, please. Summarize your thoughts, then make your thoughts, then don't be so succinctly clear now you aid that you know the um, mm, um, um. Please, I'm begging. So we get the toll free number when at 1 866 944 772. We get the UK number when at plus 44 203 239 9581. We get the Australia number when at plus 61 2800 two five two and then we get the whatsapp call when a one three four three nine nine seven five eight two eight and then number then there we get the technical team go they um you know display the numbers them as we they go along the phone lines are open the phone lines are open two minutes per call not more than two minutes so I want to make you take a minute, other than what we all know, 
about the importance of having women at the decision-making table, at the hem of decision for women's issues. Make we pull aside women's issues. Make we pull aside, um, you, know, um, you know, empowerment, equity, and all of that. Why is it important as a nation, as a growing nation, as a nation, you know, that's practicing democracy, that's nursing its democracy, why is it important to have women and not only a representative quota of women, but, you know, a visible presence of women within the decision-making process, within the aims of decision-making. When you're using all your resources, human resources, human and Boku, we need them if this nation will go forward. You also, there are some issues that indeed get gender dimension. You know, agriculture and the field. In, in, in most of the food processing after we don't have a now woman in the door. When I was in they go India, then side and they, it's where they design some technology. The callers, please just give me one minute, make the Dr. Candle yeah. finish in, in yeah. thoughts yeah. and then yeah. coming to you. Yeah, when they design certain technologies, then they consult them, they're gonna then get for use that technology day for processed food and so on at the, at the food value chain. So you need them even with the design programs where we can benefit the community because some functions and then they do one. For some of them reason, and I think we want them a decision making, but also the honesty. Uh, we don't, I don't see research then when they give women the money for microfinance in some countries. Uh, when you give a group of women the, the moral suasion of that group, then they deliver, then they pay back, then pay, pay payback rate higher than men. At least we've seen that in some Asian countries and some African countries. Hopefully that will be now. If you go Kenya, you know, this in Pesa, we don't make a lot of revolution yonder. And the woman, they're more not in the beginning. Yeah, now within a mainstream banking, it is a mainstream mobile payment system. We all, the, in fact, in the energy world, we try for copy with him being in Pesa for use and for spread renewable energy technologies now in East Africa. And that, those things were all done because of the honesty of women, then commitment. But there's another dimension. Women reflective and care about reputation. In a number of cases, some studies have shown they are more concerned about corruption as well. The welfare of the future because of the kids. It, I don't know if it's genetic, but yes, some studies have shown that. If you want, I'll send you one that another female leader sent to me today. He said, because they do a study on Uganda. But that study, they also, they review because Uganda gets a quota system for women. But the women can still compete for other seats in them parliament. But then get a clear, fixed one woman from every district, fixed in the constitution. But they can do more. Okay. So make a whole your thoughts and make a go to the colors then. Because the colors are anxious. I see the line just, they go up and up. So I will begin to take the call. Scholar, and then Yusuf can get them for so it's throat small because they don't say where they talk. Um, caller, which are your name and who are you the call from? Um, this is my line small. Bitty Mama from Canada, Toronto. I just okay. get a question for uh, Doc. The question for Doc today is, we all know how it should be, how SLP should be. And now that they manipulate the system, and now the people in a village, all the sabi na red and green. My own direct question to Doc today is: If you should make you a flag bearer, would you accept it? That I guarantee they we need for me today. If you go accept for be a APC flag bearer, so if we they continue for support you. We get to know who say we shall stand because now some of we they talk to the course now social media. So now just that one day, now me on question. And by all means necessary, the SLPP they mess up and get for go. So do you think the way the Gambians then do for get rid of Tiaya Jame, where they all collaborate, you feel that they make sense? Now just that is a me on question to you today, Doc. 
Okay, thank you very much, Kola. I will take a set of questions and then I will give Dr. Mick the answer and then we'll take another set of questions. So, um, Kola, waiting at your name and who are you the call from? Hello. Hello, Kola. Hello, Madam Alcilda. Hi, Madam Alcilda. Hello. Okay, are they for your video, so maybe dull the set where you do listen from, walk away from whosoever you do listen so you be able to talk. Yes, Madam Matilda. Um, this now you call her from California. There are a few things in the out when I just want for I am um, outline way Dr. Yumkela they tell we with a uh, one on lecture. Say president in SSF day in favor of in few things than we a right. I want to tell you, see, not points than a lie. Not guy, not a snake, in not day in favor of what you do. Why from when you make them, not three years this, up to now they still not approve them. They, they tell me, say, the president day in favor. That's a big lie. The guy just to use you. That's a number one. I want to say something clear because this platform will say something clear on the, on the table. Now that's I believe. And then secondly, I want to let you know, say, between you and the, the, the guy in a parliament, not guy in a criminal, I'm not afraid for say whatever thing when I want to say. I'm a born fair union and a free born. Okay, when he bring up na particular stuff, when they may force you na say na this president want, I may call na this platform say na guy they may want for make the return get back in houses the where they may seize na and and indeed na that make him force you na for make una all agree. Let tell you something, Mister. Dr. Yumkela, on all of fail the nation because on all the city school, they on all the sets on a much on another degree for stand up than na parliament. Say me one green, I will take on all na the parliament. Please, on a lot of land for talk to school na the country, let the country go before all this book. English, I want to make you stop them and work for the people. Then now that makes them put you. I expect you, and I always they expect the big one. Then, but when they go the wrong way, I will tell you the right thing. Now, so me go left me on for today. Okay, thank you, Kola. I go go to the next caller. Kola, waiting at your name and who say you the call from? This is this is boy Jala Jamboya calling from Nawi. Okay, what do you get for? Yeah, um, I want to commend Doctor Kande Kole on Kela first. Okay, I need for make you raise your make. voice up because we're not a year. I say I want to commend Dr. Kande Keller for the effort we they make. But um, listening to the program, I see a lot of confusion and lack of focus. The two issues the way they deal with now, the diaspora voting rights, and the issue of gender equality, I want to, I depend on difficult to see the compatibility in them. Because gender issue is a very big issue that needs a separate legislation. I am saying this because I have been elected twice in one of the most democratic countries on that, Norway. And in my first election, I was a member of the Gender Equality Committee. I know exactly the issues that I'll be able to deal with them. And I know, say, Salon Bidon ratified the convention since 1988. And since that time, no effort they not make for make uh, a gender and anti-discrimination law. Because gender law, they go with anti-discrimination. And anti-discrimination gets other components that would be bigger than a quota of representation in politics. Gender issue, they far beyond politics. It's a societal issue. Workplace, maternity leave, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to name them all now because time is not day. Then when you come from the diaspora voting right, we are looking at a situation where the very law we say dual citizenship 
They discriminate against people. They will burn us alone because they can't take other citizenship. But then they allow the people for going to, into politics. As okay. So, um, like I said, at two minutes, all man gets. At the two minutes mark, we get for cut off the line and allow other people then for talk. So I will take top five. So fourth call and one last, and then I give Dr. Um, Yunkela them for respond. Um, call out waiting on your name and say the call from. Okay. Good evening. Um, good, good evening to Voice of Sierra Leone and uh, good evening, Matilda, and good evening, Honorable Yunkela. Um, I want to commend uh, Honorable Yumkela with the with this brilliant, brilliant attempt. And uh, as a feminist, a women's rights activist, the former UK 5050 president, hearing that there is a bill being tabled gives me great pride and great joy. Um, as much as there are challenges, and we know there is always going to going to be challenges because sadly, like you say, there's this cultural barrier and all kinds of barrier placed in front of women. And But I think the time is now. And I, I, I'm, I'm glad that you say the president is in favor of such a, a conversation. And obviously with we as women, uh, already there's a conversation in Sue, uh, in, in sort of starting off from Facebook, using social media for galvanized women there, because we're now demanding our place. A lot of us are in the diaspora, yes, but there are many women in Sierra Leone now calling for women leadership. I think for far too long, people have underestimated the power of women in leadership. We can lead. We only need the men to believe that we can lead. And I think this notion that the government and everybody else, including the opposition parties, are given that there is this cultural barrier, I don't want to accept that. We still do have women who have the capacity, but are not given the opportunity to be leaders in whatever field that may be. It's not just in politics, but even in, in, in industry, even in, in businesses, we still find the challenges because people see women as second-class citizens. So I'm impressed and I'm also looking forward, but I would hope you would also engage with women in the diaspora and be inclusive. We want disabled women, we want older women, we want younger women, in, we want women from all works of life, given the opportunity to engage, to understand what this bill is. I, I know sometimes often people think many Sierra Leoneans are not educated, but I think they are. So thank you so much. I'm going to end my question there. Okay. So I'll take the last question for right now and put a pause, give uh, Dr. Munkela uh, some time for respond. So the last qu uh, question from the caller, caller, waiting at your name and who you the call from? Yeah, me and Francis, I call from Minnesota. Okay, go ahead, Francis. What do you get for me? Um, I want to tell you plenty thank you for this opportunity. Um, the quest the thing that's interesting, the discussion that's interesting, you know, the topics then. Um, one thing I want to tell Doc, you know, in African politics, before you pass a bill, um, you opposition or the one that way you work with, there must be a relationship first and foremost. And now uh, you get for create that relationship there. You get for put everything aside if you want to achieve. Now, the same thing that happened in America, wherever you go, the politics, there must be a relationship. If you're not creator, I waste no more, you waste your time. I'll accept you or focus good, day, you build good, yeah, but at the end of the day, the no say now you get for take that glory day. So you get for create that relationship first. Number two, in Africa, where you not belong to a ruling party, first you be lucky. If you're not lucky, you know, go consider you be no go pass. Then you always they consider you as an outsider. They always they consider you as an outsider. And one thing I want make you remember, Doc, during the election time, always we don't pass between you, SAPT, this is all in and the, you know, not forget anything in the it's still fresh now they mind them. So until you forget that, but it's still fresh now they mind them. So for making succeed with any other thing under 
you must get for creating that relationship first. Forget about all this talking. You have to go to the drawing board. Number three, I'll be the expert to say with all your knowledge, if you don't understand really the political landscape of Sierra Leone before you join politics. Um, if not to Dandy, my brother, you are just going to continue to be struggling. The, uh, the political landscape of Sierra Leone, we you not understand that. If you not belong to the ruling party, my brother, now talk talk no more throughout. So at the end of the day, you get for belong inside it before you able to change something. If you not belong inside it with all your good agenda, with all your good idea, with all your wealth of experience, if you not belong inside it, you go go be lucky for 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 success. The third one or the fourth one, that gender issue. Now the poli Okay, sorry, Cora. Um, your time ran out. I think say we want touch on the gender issue, but make a give Doc some time. Make an answer to their sets of questions they are before we move on. Well, uh, for the caller from California, all I can say to you is I give the president the benefit of the doubt, giving what he may know a one time, and inshallah, I must say he will push the buttons for all the, all the issues here we will discuss come to fruition. So you're entitled to your own opinion, my own opinion is that um, I believe say then one time we will see how we all will work together for let it happen. We condemn we all in the parliament. Well, my brother, at least some of us are willing to stand up to be counted. Uh, given the hell we day in this country for going to politics, we are still convinced that some of us should take the chance. And like you, I was out there, but I left and came back. It, it's rough, but we're trying to make a difference. And inshallah, we'll change the culture of parliament uh, one block at a time. So a caller from Norwegia, uh, uh, from Norway, the Norwegian uh, colleague, I, le I, I like your experience. I mean, you don't be in legislation. Wow, somebody like you, uh, the kind of for invites for can help we, let we even see how they do. And he's correct. Gender issues complex. Uh, Yusuf, a politician at one point, it depends on how you want to approach. You can decide, like how you don't say, they may not try 1998 in our work. You also don't explain the complexity of it. You say it include, it forget an anti-discrimination law, it forget a work, workplace rights issue. It's so complicated that you can you get a choice. You can take all for deal with them, or like in my own case, I chose to zero in on political empowerment. That's my strategy. I'm entitled to my strategy. In the debating palette, that's why you said when I'm a lawmaker, you know, others could say, well, if you want this to go through, we want to add something else. We want to separate it so that, in fact, we have a more comprehensive gender bill. What I have done is to provoke a debate, my brother, so that you can even address some of the other issues if you want. Or at least I give women the opportunity that if more of them are in that house, they can deal with the complex issues that you outline. In Norway, like you said, when I get committees, we work on that. Then develop over time. We have not had that. You said, don't talk about from 1998 or 1988. And you're right, it's complex. So inshallah, so hopefully you, you'll get involved one day and you'll help us push this. And, and uh, it, uh, it, it's, it's work in progress. Thank you, UK, for your comments. And indeed, we'll engage more. And they, they're working on a gender. They, they have a gender policy. But now they want to have laws to, to give that policy uh, peace and, and, and entrench it in, in, in the laws of Sierra Leone. So more laws then for, for gender. So we may pick, may pick one low-hanging fruit. As I said, this is so easy because they know they fed for them over time that I see a loophole and an and opportunity will keep make it happen. So it's my strategy. I hope it works. Uh, Minnesota and the first question, I get the same kind of the same tales. Minnesota, you're right. You get to understand the ecosystem where you work. My brother, I don't dare now six years old. I didn't have grown. You know, I may be dumb, but I'm not that dumb. I know the system now. You know, I have been, I have had baptism by fire, my brother. I may not agree with everything. And I don't have to agree with everything because why? We want to change systems. If you want to change systems, sometimes you've got to be true to yourself. Otherwise, we all they conform. If we tell the you, you really hear you, they say, it's so easy for her to do that. For her just say, all right. 
me self don't join. I don't agree. Now just play the game. I refuse to do that, my brother. I agree with certain things. You've seen me. I've said constructive opposition. I have worked with the government on bills. I have joined the opposition to oppose things. That's me. That's the politics I know. That's the politics I've seen elsewhere. But we've collaborated on other issues. You know, a number of issues now. We don't collaborate. But then and they were not agree with certain things. So I for change everything just because I want to be in power? No. Some of we come for values also. So for me, some principles matter and um, hopefully we'll find common ground on some issues. So for go back to number one, I think number one, take me to 2023. We'll get time for Goyanda, my brother. Low weight force. Lay a focus on the lawmaking now as an NGC leader in parliament. Make her do what is right. What you see right. Meanwhile, I have said publicly, 2023 is about strategic alliances. We have to create those alliances of progressives, progressives and then an APC, and then an SLPP. We care about the nation. Let we find way where we go talk, we come together for create a better salon. So then the then discussion and need to go. And they tell you, I will tell you, say, given situation at the country, a lot of conversations are taking place because, yes, we want a better salon and we worry. Wait till we see the happen, wait till we see the camp. We worried. And for that, you deal with tribalism and all that thing. Eh? I fully agree with you now. We get for join hand. The question is, how will they join? Hand? For wait till we they join hand. Wait till the values they will defend for together. And inshallah, I think say in time we will do the alignments, then they then strategic alliances, then they we will define them as we they go. But the issues matter too. Okay. So I want to add another question, Naya. So before I continue, um, when um, you know the flyers came out, somebody reached out to me and asked me if I can ask this question on their behalf. And I said to them, sure. It says, um, um, I'll read the full message. Hello, Matilda. I hope this message finds you well. I read KK KKY's write-up on the dual citizenship issue. And it seems to me that he has gotten it mixed up. He goes, dual citizenships are not, uh, dual citizens are not prohibited from vying for office because if they were, because they were born in another, because if they were born in another country and attained Sierra Leonean citizenship, they are permitted to. Unfortunately, dual citizens who were born in Sierra Leone and attain a foreign citizenship are excluded from buying from office. If I read the bill, if I read the bill, the, the third amendment will propose now exactly that. We say, and I quote it, the constitution of Sierra Leone 1991 is amended by the inclusion of the words, and we put it in caps, including a dual citizen who acquired his Sierra Leonean citizen, citizenship by birth. You see what we do? So you were born Naya, if you don't go naturalized, yes, we, so we they say the same thing, my brother. That's exactly mm -hmm. what we've done. If you mm -hmm. born Naya, but you don't go Canada, you go get dual citizenship, we say, why are you for discriminate against them? If we're if able to run for parliament. That's exactly what we've done. We've not mixed it up at all. We targeted what was discriminated against. The fact that you don't naturalize Yanda, they say, no, you can't run. Remember, I went through it specifically. So me, no. So we targeted that particular area of the constitution, which is 75A. We're very specific. Then we target another one, 76 one. We say that and they'll just pull up. Because you say, once you're not doing a national, not even try, you disqualify. We pull, we say pull down the self come Because that one did they discriminate against. We were born Naya. For various reasons, we ever go labor yonder for send money back for now for let the country change. Why you go say they're not for run? And we need their skills, we need their knowledge. So we are very specific about what was discriminatory. We don't mix up at all. People be one law broadening and to other things, eh? But we focus on waiting at the issue. By the way, we even talk to people the way being right that 1991 constitution. The one say the one good thing is when I expunge. That's 761A. So we know what we did. So, um, as I tell you, these are good lawyers and some good, smart people. Who have okay, this. good lawyers, good, smart people. We hope this time they are working for the people who've elected them and not 
you know, for themselves and, you know, making arrangements that will benefit them once they're in office and forgetting that, you know, offices is not for a lifetime, or offices are not for a lifetime and that there are other generations that, you know, it's continuity that will come and take over and, you know, and, and work good and laws they are. So um, I want to ask a question. So, um, 2023 is coming up. You cannot talk about things without talking about, you know, 2023. But however, I want to go to a recent comment where the president make now a town hall, where they ask and say, why make you not get a lot of female representation now your government? Why make women then, you know, bring women then come on board? His answer to that was that they're not, they will not get capable women then inside for bring come for take on leadership as a leader of a political party possibly who would be the flag bearer of that political party come come you know in, in a little less than a year or a year and a half to go do you think sierra leone does not have women capable to take on political offices or decision making position of course not. Um, Bokude, Bokude, we keep it. But plenty, plenty. Uh, I don't meet there over the years. I don't meet there now. Being living here now six years in the trenches. Oh, Bokude, we keep it. Of course, as I said before, you know, when I have look this 2018 study that was done on the barriers, there are many barriers, some culture. Um, I know people then we want contest with them, brother and uh, family and tell them, you Chris? You woman, now you want to be MP. I know that for free. Yeah, that's real. It's cultural. It's in the mindset. Why if I go try for Putin said before that kind of thing? There's violence. Where they prevent good woman there. This thing is rough. Some of we know it too, don't go through. So that's a loner barrier. Who that one go begin putting self through and away for the help in picking there? Because of that violence, some good people they say, mm -mm, me and no one go inside. Me and no one goes away and they cost, cost me every day, even small thing and begin cost. Because now it's, it's also gone down to that. Now cost now, not to progress, not to policy debate. So there are real barriers. And culturally, where people, they say, we're certain thing and they way, now the woman for doing, now the man for doing. So my, my point is, good woman and they plenty. If we begin to do some of them, minor, uh, 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 change here. Mogo Komonado, then go be role models for others. We go say, hey, me are glad you, Matilda, if you see an parliament today. And by the way, I don't meet young students then like that. We don't come visit parliament. We they say, I want to be an MP. I say, are you really serious? Yes, I want to be an MP. When they begin to see more of those role models, they say, ah, that's what I want to be. Then they go be asked, how do I get there? So, uh, I am convinced, Matilda, that this is a good cause. And um, as I said, there are many ways to skin this cat. And um, we need others to come in and bring other proposals. Maybe we end up having a better bill. That's the idea. That's why some of us are not scared of the debate. We want it debated. So others will say, like, waiting people in the Senate, like the, we friend from Norway. He say, you know, if you understand, this is not do. Thank you very much. Make it better. Bring something more ambitious, but then we fight for it in parliament. But you know something? I also know in public policy, hey, go for some low-hanging fruits. Because the more you begin to add anti-discrimination and so on, so people then begin to say, well, there's reverse discrimination and feta. So it's, it's, it's not an easy way to do public policy. So but basically, it is true. you they try not to be too over-ambitious, but be strategic you. in your demand. Yeah, yes, ma'am. And also reaching out. They, they call us, then write. The other guy from, um, I forgot which country, he writes, say, you get for reach across the aisle. Not to say, I don't understand. I know, say, we, I mean, this country, one or the other problem, we not take all. Everything at the government. Now that we want to say, no, everything not get for be the government. We not get for wait past the minister come with bill. Come on, wait, you go there for. Let we say bring bills. And, and that's the other debate where I want for let them take place. Oh, wait a minute. So private member motion. How many they can? Very few over the years. Very few. Trickle. So we go get more. Other people then go, go lobby the MP say, do you want to go try for pass law and this? If you do the good analysis, you get the right people then, then draft them for them. So we go get more people they come forward for bring bills, especially from the opposition as well. We not get for wait for minister 
or from the ruling party MPs. That's part of the issue here too. Ruling party MPs can come with bills. We can combine our efforts on environmental law, for example. We can do it. There are so many issues in this country. The other one where I don't push, ethnic quotas. On other area, I don't talk about Andy. Say no one tribe should have more than 30% of positions in government. I go one let people sit down with me. We do that kind of act today. The ethnic diversity law. The other one where I be one work on, but fortunately, NEC, they can't deal with that. Government Transition Act. On another area, I talk about that. Fix the date for elections. Fix the date for handing over. So that there is also time in between to resolve election disputes. On another area, I don't talk about that. When I be mentioned that last year, Boku cost nugget. Boku cost. But guess what? I talked about it anyway. Guess what? It's going to happen. NEC wants that too. Fix dates. So it is predictable, like the United States or Ghana. November 4th or December 4th. So no president, nobody know the shift and say, hey, low add six weeks more, low add one more week. No. And it, why are you useful? If civil servants and professionals know the dates, they know exactly when for resign. Not so. You begin to see how these things cascade. But that is something I was also preaching about two years ago, been to many three. I said we should have a government transition act. Fix the dates of elections. I'm a, I'm a stubborn policymaker too. And these are good. Observers wake up for 2018 election. Then self recommender. But you know how Africa turn also pass outside our talks on team before they agree. When internal policy talk and all kinds of suspicion don't come out. Oh. Anyways, I'll take one, one question and then I will go back to the phone line, see if people and then at the phone lines for take more questions. Um, 2023, it's around the corner. It's as real as night and day. Whether we, we try for avoidance, whether we try for push another back burner, it is coming. There's a political women's group or a women's lobbying group where they, they say they your mission now for lobby for at least in 2023 for make sure, say, you know, every political party or as many political parties them as they can get for make their second candidate, the vice president, be a woman. Are you committed to that? Is the NGC committed to that ideology that come 2023, either yourself being the flag bearer, whoever being the flag bearer, the second would be a woman you will i can say this to you now that in my last election we had a, a list of women that were on the list to be running with yeah so i will tell you say we ngc with the giga one the close consideration we, we do one the last time we will do one again 2023 we'll look at prominent women that can be running mates. So um, what I would say is it is under consideration. It is under consideration. I it is under consideration, but it's not an apartment. Not to me, they say, oh, that the party it is under say, consideration. But I that we made a real effort the last time. Well, it, it, Yes. You're telling me that it's Please under wait. consideration, but you're not giving me an affirmative yes. The reason I can't do that, my party chairman will kick me out because I can't can declare policy for a now in a the chairman and leader. Me not the parliamentary okay. leader. So I will okay. therefore again, the chairman the and leader, policy. This question, Dr. Dennis Bright, I am inviting you okay. to the seat so that you can answer the question for the people. NGC, as a political party, are you going to buy into the idea of having a woman as a second running mate? That is a question I'm throwing out there for Dr. Dennis Bright, and I will want you to answer. Because right now, the parliamentary, the political leader, they say he needs to confer with you first. So because he needs to confer with you first, 
and you hold the answer, you hold the key to that answer, I want you here to answer that question. I will go to the callers then. Caller, waiting are your name? And who's are you the call from? Yeah, hello, Mina. Mina, I'm pretty sorry, I recall from uh, Hong Kong. Uh, I've got a few questions actually for KKY. Well, we all understand, say, KKY has been a SLPP supporter and then he left and go from your party and then eventually uh, became an MP for a party away from NGC. But since you know, first you're not able for influence change na SLPP, and then since it'll be, become an MP, which not the landmark bills and we don't really bring we go see the one they are going to bring long term development of the country. Then our question number one. Question number two, uh, taking into consideration. Uh, question number one, the fact that the Dena SLPP may be influence change, it don't become an MP in, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you not bring any make any landmark bill yet. Wait now the assurance we will give people that for say if he become president it will bring any significant change. And then question three is uh, it, the, uh, if they talk about uh, women, they the toxic women they will do a lot of stuff. But uh, if in consider the most recent history across the world, first of all, the Korean uh, former Korean president in a prison, in a woman, the uh, uh, Brazilian former Brazilian president also, I think, in a prison, in a woman also. Then uh, even Justin Salif, when he got the power, what he do? Now uh, in border, now he begin to appoint for be bank governors, all of those things. He said, "Na woman." So what are the assurance for say we get a capable woman and as alone we could really bring significant change? And then also in fact I even forget that Hong Kong I had we we, we uh, um chief, chief executive now woman and we all know what what the massive post protests will be will be to take place now Hong Kong. So with all in kind <laughs> recent history about the performance of woman then what now the uh, you know the evidence we KKY really get for say, you know, woman and go bring change us alone. Mm. And then my fourth and final question is, KKY, KKY they talk about uh, um, a, a, a lot of waste and a lot of things that we go able for uh, 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 Adam close this diversity gap. But when it in uh, Sierra Leone, mm. it not seem for the really take to consideration which not the uh, with necessary uh, 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 contributing factors that really lead to this significant uh, uh, change in, uh, in diversity. Okay, thank you very much, Kola. You don't the, go the, over that, that, that one. Let we, let we not make it linger too long. What you are not like what you do, you pick four recent women, then we get issues in governance. You forget centuries of man, then we don't do so much help. You know, it's not a fair comparison. You, you, you need to pick the one Korean woman. You take uh, uh, Rusev, not even Rusev, the lock of Nalula. Why would you do that? You forget centuries, 2,000 years of men ruling. If you want to do that list, then we go list maybe 5,000 men where they don't lock up for mistakes, for problems. That's not the issue, my brother. Don't, don't give the implication that woman they're not able to hold. And that's not true. Most of the world, and we don't want women there. So I totally disagree with your analogy or, or by extension, which you want to say. Um, yeah, I don't do any other landmark billets. The ones that where they try for, like each of them, you can separate them into separate bills. Each of them, if you want. Yeah, just look at the hell, forget this one no more inside. So yes, the typical habit here and uh, this governance, now government, they bring bills. And yes, I'm on record. I've worked very hard on bills spending time going line by line, being in every damn debate to get it through. So you, you make your contribution based on the constraints you face. Yeah, I wish I'd been there Hong Kong or United States. That's a different uh, ecosystem. You before see how they perform. Within this ecosystem, some of we just surviving is an achievement here and keeping yourself true to yourself. Yeah. yeah. 
And so Kola, um, you know, then get um, a, a, a women leader also in New Zealand. We do terrifically well. Um, we the one in Denmark. The there are many examples. Cha- um, and then Amako, she performed Marco, extremely well. Is. And I can That's go cool. on and on and on and, and on. on. So yeah. it's sometimes let's 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 be careful how we cherry pick this this issue. I will go to the next caller. They take two more calls and I they close the phone line because um, we don't get top of the uh, two hours and we want for wrap up. That's very very um, great discussion. Caller, waiting at your name and who say the call from? Hello. Yes, go ahead, Kola. Oh, uh, I'm James Kamara. They call from Toronto, Canada. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much, Ms. Matilda, for the way you bring Dr. Yakjom Kelena that is in today. He don't say what I want to talk to this man since uh, he come out, say he won't be, he won't be a, a flag bearer in a salon. But I get three questions for him today. The first question is, we know saying I've been SLPP member. Why you go form your own party? That's not number one. Number two, if they impose a speaker at the house where he not legitimate, why he not stand up and take him in, 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 in parliamentarian? Remember, remember, they within a parliament, they didn't work out. Because, you know, the man is a smart man. Dr. M. Kela is a very, very smart man. He's well-landed, he's eloquent, you know. So things like that, and if you encourage them to happen in the first place, how are you going to, they don't must land on, they don't impose a speaker in a, in a parliament where he no legitimate. Why not stand up, say, this is not to happen? Make it see if other members of parliament not will follow suit. Now, now, the second question. The third question is, as you don't know, I they quote the Constitution, 1991 Constitution. Well, me and Sierra Leone, I know one day read the Sierra Leone Constitution, but I happened for reading last night. I read that from 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the morning, I stood there, and I see everything is about this, is opposite, which they happen as alone, according to the Constitution. Dr. Yonkela, you go able to sensitize the people of Sierra Leone about the Constitution of Sierra Leone, let everybody know in rights and what he entitled to. Because all the past university students or post where they study, I know the constitution. The ordinary man don't know what in his rights. Police they beat people in our streets and they beat Chris man there. Because they don't know their rights. They don't know. Why don't you sensitize these people? Make them know what is their the rights in the country. Now they go salon every year. But may I tell you one thing, Dr. M. Keller, what have they write on Facebook about what are the seen as Sierra Leone for what they go from 2013 to 2017? Mm. If I try them now, then go harass me. Okay, thank you, Kola. This will be my last call for tonight. Last call for tonight. Last call for tonight. I thank everybody we don't call so far. Kola, waiting at your name and who's you the call from? Uh, my name is Mukhtar Kale. I'm calling from Maryland. Okay, what's in I what you did? Um, just want to thank you, Matilda, for uh, hosting this program, and thank you, Dr. Yonkela. Um, I have a very simple question, and the first question is, you know, in his own opinion, what does he think about Shelly on progress since 2018, and how can we move forward to make sure we have a progressive country, and also... What are parliaments? Since parliament's job is to is to create laws and pass laws, what are they doing to help with jobs? Because the one thing I haven't heard in that country and a lot of what the government talk about is how they're going to create jobs. Because when you look at the statistics, you look at a lot of people, you know, in that country, you know, you don't see a lot of people working. So, you know, one thing if you want if you want to have, you know, progress, you want to have a future. I think you need to create jobs. So, what are laws? If you can study us and give us a few things that Parliament can do to help, you know, pass some laws that way they can help create jobs. And also, you made a comment, Matilda, about um, the president saying that um, they don't have enough qualified women. Um, my, my answer to that, to that is how would you know if you don't have qualified women if you don't give them a chance? You know, it's easy to just say that we don't have qualified women when you haven't even given them a chance. So that's what I have to say. But thank you, Dr. Um, I know it's very hard. You know, a lot of people... 
you know, say things. And I, but I know it's very hard when you're dealing with a country where there's some things that they're used to and you're trying to change. So, you know, I, I'm an APC guy, but I definitely respect you, and I think what you're doing is great. It's awesome. You know, keep trying. You know, pray for patience for you guys and just keep working. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Paula. The phone lines are closed. Dr. Yunkela, I'll give you a chance to make your answer to these questions, and then I will go to my rapid-fire questions, them, and close the show. Um, well, um, the last caller, yes, not true. We for sensitize with people there about their rights. Some of we, they do that. I mean, we are one of the most vocal uh, politicians then at the country. People know that. And I talk about human rights. I talk about the people there and their rights or freedom of speech for protests that they try to leave that way they for sure they say yes you can talk but you go hear it people say hey they talk too much but I have been consistently doing that I'm on your show now uh, not many of us do that um, if we go back to the videos uh, of the election of the speaker let's see the position where I take I think say they talk for uh, about that but you don't know what I do so then they, if we go see the video that was my first day in parliament I refuse for vote. Me and my colleagues then refuse for vote when they bring troops into the parliament. If there's anything, I should get credit for standing up on principle on that day. Yeah, we refused to vote. And of course, we were embarrassed. The TVs were pointed at us, but we stood our ground because, yes, we shouldn't have paramilitary in parliament when we're voting for the speaker. So that one day, I know there are any problems with that. Um, the the why I form NGC? No, well, now a group of people form NGC. We can get disagreements over constitutionality issues, values, and so on. So we decide for coming together as um, progressive uh, liberal people. We form another party for give people the an opportunity. If um, and for sure, people then say you can innovate. You don't have to settle and say, oh well, I'll not be able. No, we show you say you can do it. You can come together. Unfortunately, we get to a license or perform only five months before election. But we thank God, say we do, them, and um, we demonstrate to the young people, say you can innovate, uh, you don't have to settle for less, you can change. And it's not easy, it's never easy, but you do your best and at least we'll go down in record that, hey, they came, they stood up for what they believed and they formed a party. Uh, and I make it, people tell me, say, oh, I don't like this party, I don't like that party, I say, ah, I don't complain to them. You have a freedom. The constitution, you write for do other things. The last caller, yes, um, they get point about jobs. We need jobs in this country. Bad, bad ones, still over 60% youth unemployment. Very difficult problems, but it related to the general economic management. If you debt heavy, wage bill heavy, money not the day for spend on a side. And then one day again, if you go to the budget debates, you can see what I have said about things we need to do in the economy, supporting the private sector, making it easy. Like our friend said, when you when you ship things here, you should be able to clear them within two, three days. They shouldn't hassle you. Uh, we call it trade facilitation. I've talked about that so much uh, the past three years, but I mean, I guess it goes on deaf ears. Sometimes the people don't like the messenger, so they don't even want to listen to the message, even if it's good. But we all have work to do, my brother. Um, this is our, our, our one place we call home a long time. Uh, not refugees in the political sense, but economic-wise. Um, otherwise, we would have been home. So we all have a stake. And indeed, little by little, change what you can. Which in me, no one, are people with a grumble all the time. All can with good deals, we work with them. When cybercrime can we sit down? Hours. They change their, their, their language. Then they today. I mean, with the wait for see now, if all wait till we change the inside, the final one. But we spent hours because we know we need cybersecurity in our country. So yes, we worked with government on that and other policies. But at the same time, when I don't see what your post is, like Johnson, I mean, when I didn't talk about that, of all the lead politicians in this country, no other one, not a single one, has said anything about that. I chose to do it. And I made it clear, my position. And people have said, oh, but before we let the bill come, I say, no. I'm a Western trained politician. We can talk about public policy even before you bring a bill. So we make our position clear. We are not wishy-washy. So some of us have to do that, even for the next generation. So they know there's another kind of politics. It's not just the one that is practiced here. And they aspire 
to be politicians, to want to go in. Because let me tell you, you can't leave a vacuum, man. Eh? If you don't want to be in politics, others come in. If there's anything you can learn from it, that the guy criticized, he was outside 32 years, very comfortable, but he bit the bullet, went in there, and has been there six years, in spite of everything. I have stood up. And I'm still here. I'll see what the future holds. If there's anything, there's anything. And I bet, how many would give up what I gave up to come here? I was at the pinnacle of my career. But I chose to do it without any regrets till today. And I'm still here. Still here. And I'm happy to be here to make my little contribution. And I still have 19 months. And we'll see what else I can do. Okay, so Dr. Yumkela, now I go to me rapid fire question, then one minute each for answer. The, the question them as I pose them as we go along. Uh, education, when you propose education, when you said an emergency, we, we, we need to inject, our education system need an injection of an emergency. What we now have, is that what you envisioned? No. Quick answer, no. <laughs> Quick answer, no. Okay, yeah. um, I've been there up for a little bit more with the no. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing with healthcare? A lot of problems, a lot of problems in healthcare, decades long problems, and then very serious. Very serious. Uh, if you're sick in this country, pass God help you. Um, hmm. Usai for beginning. We are basic thing that know the capability, not the naya. Yeah, we get a handful of psychiatry still. Um, the kidney, kidney section, for the, from 2018 to now. I know this because I visited the new kidney unit last week. Now two dialysis machines no more been in this country. And then two, then, then private people get them because they get problem, but at least then they allow other people for use them if you pay 900,000 or you pay 1 million. But remember, you get to do dialysis three times a week. How many people are able to do one mil three million every week in the country if you get kidney problem? But thank God, then don't renovate. Well, they can't get five dialysis machines. But let me tell you, it's five for seven million people. Now, it rings a bell to me because when I did University of Illinois, one of the things, as a student, eh? as a student, this is way back in uh, when? In the, in, the, in the late 80s. We've been a try for let Dr. Hallow in uh, Chicago help we forget one used dialysis machine. At that time, we had only one in the country. So you can look, it's almost as if time stood still. 30 years later, we had only two 2018, but now we're going to have five. They need a lot of help, but if you get problem with kidney upline, now five no more than a free time. So there are a lot of things we need to do to build capacity, and we all get for work with this, we call him the new minister. For let we see how we go help her. There's so many things that are not available in the medical system. I know if you want to go through, you know, I don't lose how many friends the last few weeks, bearing after bearing. Uh, I, I know what you will go through. My uncle self is in our hospital now. So I tell you, it's, it's a dire situation. The capabilities here for medicine, diagnosis, the problem, some, some specializations, and then one doctor we get. One. One. And they're damn good trying their best, but they're not enough. They're not enough. Uh, uh, so, anyway, there, there are efforts, but we have to do a whole lot of medical service. A whole, a whole lot of medical service. Okay. How, um, when you walked into parliament, your expectation of being a parliamentarian, question, are you part of the gatekeepers? Are you an ally or, you are, or are you an outlier? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, it's hard to place me. But I've been an eccentric politician here, an eccentric parliamentarian, because sometimes I am supporting a bill and then you hear the old man say, hey, you don't, you don't go on the other side. A month later, you hear the hammer again in the opposition side because they, it's on issues. I focus on the issues. I take the issue. It's consistent with the con uh, constitution. It could be in the interest of the people. Are there some violations? A good for the long run for development. So depending on the issue, you go say, ah, this man is there for the government or the battle government. But then you go see sometimes another issue are effects. Say, I don't agree. Because this is not correct. It's not good. So for me, I have been an independent-minded politician. 
looking at the issues, focusing on issues, not just following straight lines. No, because why a land book? A land book are they analyze? I get paddy then two when are experts in fields. I go call them when but good thing they were on. I go call them. I said, this they can. Waiting for the I give you a recent one. The, the University Act last week. Quick, quick, I don't text to colleagues. I say, hey, we're debating this. Do you have views? Because I get friends that win are professors and so on. So they send it in. Uh, we do that cybercrime. I did the same. I send them to people there. I say, my friend, I know you are an expert in this field. Or to lawyers, I say, hey. We need to safeguard rights, but we need a bill that will protect us on, on cyber crimes and other things. You know, once you don't declare your account, you, they're not doing nothing. And then they do it, then they then build and they didn't have everybody, but we be one protect rights. So, my dear sister, parliament has, has been a mixed bag for me, some good, some not good, but it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, that's experience I didn't have. We all oh. feel so we know you have to be in it to see the struggles of getting public policy done, to, to change drafts, uh, to, to work on language, to, to fight with colleagues on, on, on ideas, we fight in the sense of uh, debates. And you see, you lose because you don't have numbers. You lose the debate. You go home really feeling bad, say, damn, if I just had 10 more people. You know, we, we have the same thinking. We go in there as a group. Uh, we could have stood our ground and maybe made a difference. So you mm. go through those I mean, so like me, I teach policy in America. You know, you teach public policy and pop, uh, policy process, but it's interesting when you're sitting in there, negotiating from a position where you don't have the numbers, trying to do things like this bill, trying to build bridges, takes a lot of patience and skills. So that mm -hmm. brings in your diplomacy and everything, but you don't have the numbers. Exactly. Uh, you don't have... How honorable are our honorables? And the idea of a hung parliament, was it a reality, a utopia, or a disappointment? It, it was a reality. The people voted for a hung parliament. They voted for it. No, that, that cannot be changed in history. The people voted for a diverse parliament, four political parties, and they voted for a hung parliament. That's a reality. So have, the effects, he, have the effects. Have the effects. It, it didn't work. It, it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. It was truncated. So for you, the citizens and others, that's where you have to look, say, can this happen in the future? Again, can it happen in the future? 20 years from now, can somebody come in and say, well, you voted this way, but we'll change it using the, league, the, the judiciary and so on. These are all things or issues that you as citizens People should not have this attitude that one man can change this whole place, only the president. No, it's all of us. If you don't demand better, you, you get what you get. If you don't vote right, you get what you get. If you keep quiet and say, oh, me no mix, or you do every day, they, every day they criticize, you know I have, you get what you get. Systems that do not work. Arbitrary interpretation of systems or rules. Somebody decides, say, well, we're not going to do it this way. Oh, we're not going to debate the Auditor General's report, even though it's a constitutional requirement. But you just say, we are not going to do it because it wasn't done before. That's wrong. But if you don't demand it, it doesn't happen. So we are all in this business together. We all have to create the Sierra Leone we want. And people have to step forward. You have to be involved financially, uh, personally. What you are doing is a good service to the people. If you have 40,000 viewers, that's fantastic. Folks like me, maybe we come monthly now. And you do what you're doing now. Look at the kinds of questions. People are challenging me. That's wonderful. That's the politics some of us wanted. A politics where we judge all, where politicians are not scared. You face the people in Facebook. They go after you. You explain your position. That's, that's the politics I have seen. That's, that's the kind of education some of us had, especially because some of us talk policy. You want policy dialogue, you want debate, but what you don't want is arbitrary interpretation of things because somebody feels so. When the next man will come, if they look at you, bad president, he use them by everybody. And he say, yes, that's what they mean, interpret things. So uh, um, if you see some of us challenging the system, trying to send a bill forward, we say, oh, we see, but if, if not true, within the constitution and standing orders, say MP Kindwan. 
But what is the process he or she will go through? If there's anything, that's what people should learn from this. Oh, so now, so then they make law. Ah, so you can make bill. We well, get for Gazetta. So I get for lobbying, man. I get one good idea. Let's see by if you go, if you go push and through. And there are many things we need to do here. Some of the hmm. law then go to 1886. Should Sierra Leoneans be worried? Recently, the WFP World Food Program said that uh, 4.7 of our people are suffering from basically they are food poor. Yeah. Food insecurity. We, we, should we be yeah, worried? We, we should be worried. We should be worried. Apart from waiting, WFP say uh, three years ago, FAO said the same thing. Last year, we own people than I am. The IGR, Institute for Governance Reform, do a joint survey with some people in Ghana and others, we then call Afrobarometer. The number one problem we then identified before COVID, March last year, was hunger in the country. They go hmm. to bed hungry. Second one, the economy. Money not there. We're not able to buy stuff. We poor. Job not there. Number three. So you see that, yes, hunger matters. Remember, a hungry man is an angry man. If you're able an feed angry family, man is an angry man. An angry With man. that, the NGC is part of the core, the consortium of political, progressive co political party. Do you think the core will achieve their goals and object objectives? I believe so. If the COP is, is determined enough, if the partners are committed enough, uh, uh, they could achieve their goals. And, and from what we've seen, it, remember, it's our party leaders who have come together to fight for some causes. And we need that in Sierra Leone. We need to reach across party lines so we can come together for solve certain problems. Because waiting being at this country now is bipolar. People won't let you align. Now, now, now. Not to tomorrow myself. Now, now, now. Then, then they forget the issue. Then they look the messenger no more. And which party bring her? No. What COP has demonstrated that it's possible for that 13 party then come together, then begin work together. That's in a Henry Ford, we do the assembly line, say the, 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 the first action is coming together. But you really have progress when you work together. So me feel saying an interesting, an interesting development at the country. Say political parties come together, then say they want to work together. We pray that they stay together and make progress together. Thank you very much, Dr. Kande Kondel-Koleyunkela. My final, final word to you is you are a leader. You're a people's person. You've, uh, you know the doors. You know what to do. Speak to your people. The Omnibus Bill, what do you require of nation? In and outside. Both in and out, what do you require of them? What I require from the people is to push, is to mobilize and support the issues. Yeah, The issues that, yes, diaspora have a right to participate in our politics. That they can vote now. They can register now where they are. That's the issue. Boku people, they won't let them fumble them go now. They won't let them fumble. They, they, they send money for them. Give them an opportunity for help you build your country too. Woman there. We need woman there inside power so they will solve woman their problem. Now woman then the poverty, they hit more. Now they woman then they go to the markets, they go sell for bring money back now. The host. They get problems. They need woman then we understand them problem for law, make law. And, and program the way they benefit then because when you benefit woman, it will take care of the horse. Now that we know from research, any woman will get small money, the first thing I hate, now the food for the beginner and the food for a man. Now that make one let woman can into politics. Let we open the space for them. Law will not make them afraid. Law will not say, oh, no man, then no more. No, with man country, but who good thing and they were a woman politician and don't do a woman and get sorry at. So then thing and they would, and number three, the young people, then they want to come inside, and we need young people. Then. We get we ready for work, for kind inside politics. Let we not tell them, say them for resign for 12 months. No, let the man resign six months. He go don't prepare himself. Say he could participate from politics. Because what you do? Then young people, then they get for take care of who don't hold. And then young people, then they then say they remember when they can't work. Some of we don't tire. We don't tire. So what you me put now this bill, 
you can take all together, you call your pal parliamentarian, say, but we'll support that thing. Then. So then when we the inside diaspora, we didn't do, or you say, all right, separate them one, one back. They can do that too. But we want time for let them do one this year, not to next year, because time don't run. If we not change some of them thing and day by December, people go tell, we say, well, we're not going to be able to do one. And so we don't do for the last 30 years, we didn't think know they change. So me, what see me do, now for that creates the awareness and do the action by de designing a bill. You can make them better. Lord, we make them better. Now that make them not afraid for the better. For sake of salon, all things alone first. Then thing I want to put now, now good thing then for this country and not only first to one. Other people, they don't talk about as Matilda say, the one for the human, the incest self. Don't fetch for that day 15 years ago. All me they say is, Boku all that thing and the way you do, but this one, boy, no hats, but we just need two thirds of the MP and other parliament for say, we agree, low passer. And then we talk to Mr. President, say, do ya? You be the champion for Weber for all this, Mr. President, because we till do. Even then, I manifesto. And inshallah, we we'll look forward to that. Say, so inshallah, go join the fest. Mr. President, you be the champion for this. I don't hear you people and they talk, say, you lack woman them, you they empower woman them, you they bring woman them cancer, you they do things them for woman. Now is your opportunity to prove, say, indeed, indeed, you are the president for the woman them. Say, now, like what you see done at the international conference, they, they wave the trumpets, the woman empowerment flag. This is a time to trumpet it in action with your action. Make sure, say, this bill is so passed. Make sure say this bill has so be enacted to you out there in the diaspora and all over. Una can no waiting on I can do. You know your strength, you know your power. Where some of them parliamentarians they are so one for be elected, una know whose phone call and then can make to una. And una can know who say una and then can reach for make them able to do what they want for do. So in turn. Not to alter when you get the call, you for put you an inside. Tell us, say, now this me self once. If you want me, I put me an inside. But for it all, listen, I always say, when you carry that passport, the passport doesn't say you are an SLPP. It doesn't say you are an SAPC. It doesn't say you are an NGC. What it says, you are a Sierra Leone. So if you don't do this for anything, do it for that green passport that you carry that says you are a Sierra Leone. Give women a chance. Give the diaspora a chance to exercise their franchise. Give the youth a chance to be part of the decision making. Give everyone a chance because you don't know who that will come for can help. I want to end with you know this quote where they not the implementing, you know, the diaspora voting of Sierra Leone, the court way say, you know, over the years, African communities originating from Mali, Senegal, Benin, Algeria, Namibia, and Mozambique, among others, granted the opportunity to vote from their new home during elections, have, in, have reinvented their ties with their countries of origin. In addition to its symbolic value, the vote as a fundamental expression of democracy has become a means of reaffirming and reinforcing citizenship. This major change has brought about a feeling of greater closeness to their native land by making immigrant citizens permanent stakeholders in the ongoing history of their country. The right to vote has demolished a significant portion of their psychological barrier that used to exist between them and the homeland. And then they have been from by, by an article where they write 2014, quoting pages 22 and 23 from uh, Lalupo, the writer. So please, not only money no more, una for once. Una for once, 
for make we talk and make we be part of the talk and make we be part of the action. We are not competitors. We are allies. We are collaborators. We all want the same thing to advance our nation. Please do not see us as the opposition. See us as brothers and sisters, as your allies. Together, we can do this. Thank you very much, Dr. Yonkela. I tell you all thank you. We don't watch the show. You. As usual, I can tell you I say, Una be careful. Corona is still alive. Corona still they go around. It is not history. It is not fiction. People they die mercifully, mercifully. So please continue to protect yourself. Continue for wear una mask them. Continue for wash una and them. Continue for maintain social distances. And please, I cannot say this enough. If you have the opportunity to, please go take your vaccines. May God bless you all. Until we meet again, Onatata. Thank you.